Hi everyone, merhaba, this is Ayşenur Altan. Welcome to Turkish Food Recipes. In this episode, I came up with a new recipe for you from my kitchen in Istanbul, rose geranium lemon cake. The rose geranium leaves have powerful sweet scent and goes well with the lemon flavor, but if you cannot find it, you can simply make the recipe only using lemon flavor. We had a fun time making it with my daughter Zeynep. You can watch some of the behind scenes after the episode. So let's get started. Rose geranium is a sweet scented plant, has a nice uh, purple flowers. I wish uh, I could have the season while I made the cake. They have beautiful flowers. I use it usually in the kitchen to flavor my jam, especially the apricot and fig. And also we make the tea for health. In Turkish we call it ıtır. I mentioned this plant last year on my Turkish breakfast video. You can watch it from the links. Here I have one cup of sugar. I mix it with about 20 rose geranium leaves like I rubbed to get the flavor out and wait it for overnight. So it is my rose geranium flavored sugar now and I'm gonna use it on my cake and cream. So for the cake I'm scaling, my daughter is scaling because she's the one who's going to make it and Zeynep separated a half cup of sugar and we added about two tablespoons more and now we're gonna make the base of the cake we have four egg whites adding pinch of salt and we're gonna whisk it until it is foamy for one two minutes and after this point we're gonna add two tablespoons sugar gradually and whisk for about 3-4 minutes on high speed. Meanwhile, Zeynep is going to whisk the dry ingredients which is one cup of all-purpose flour plus one heaped tablespoon and one package baking powder. Our egg whites ready. We're gonna transfer it to another bowl and whisk the egg yolks with the remaining sugar. So this is like a simple sponge cake with rose geranium flavored sugar. Again we have to mix it for at least 3-4 minutes until it is foamy and you will see the difference now. It will be a pale yellow color. And at this point while whisking we're gonna add 4 tablespoons hot water. It will help to dissolve the sugar and also will make a damp cake for us. Since the cream of the cake will be also flavored with lemon, we decided to add it to the cake too. It's about half of the print of lemon. So we whisk the egg whites and yolks with the hand mixer and we are going to bring all three mixes together using spatula now. This is important because we don't want to over mix it after this point to let the air stay inside. Just gradually uh, first mix the uh, dry ingredients with the egg yolk mixture with the folding technique here I wanted to uh, teach it to my daughter Zeyne so little explanations here and alternately we are mixing the egg whites with the mixture to give some air again 
actually my friends uh, you can also mix the egg whites before the dry ingredients or uh, or alternately mix all of them in at three times all together so our cake batter is ready we're gonna use the adjustable uh, cake ring you can use spring form pan too since my daughter wanted the cake to be high we're gonna cook it on about uh, 22 centimeter in diameter the oven is preheated to 100 celsius degree oven it was nicely cooked and while it's cooling down we're gonna prepare the pudding So we have one egg, half cup plus one tablespoon rose geranium flavored sugar. Just whisk it first truly. And add a one and a half heaped tablespoons cornstarch and the same amount of flour. Adding one cup whole milk first. Whisk everything until smooth and add the remaining half cup whole milk and cook on low medium heat until bubbling. Make sure to whisk it frequently and uh, after later I realized that my friends I could have add more rose geranium leaves while cooking the cream with the milk so i suggest if you want more flavor you can add a couple of leaves to the milk too meanwhile i'm taking out the cake to prepare to let it cool down easily and again while our cream is cooking we added half of the lemon drink to flavor our pudding And here it is done we turn off the heat and add one tablespoon butter and whisk it from time to time until it cools down let me show you what we were doing behind the scene we made these salty biscuits to go with our afternoon coffee time so our cream is set it is cooled down we are going to whisk it with the help of electric mixer to make it smooth again it is also a hard mixture right now but we're gonna add a more cold milk along with a two tablespoons heaped tablespoons cream chantilly powder since i had it at hand I use the powder version but you can also use heavy cream which is more healthier version of course or skip this step and use only homemade uh, cream but this way the cream goes lighter so in uh, when I make the cake I usually prefer to use this way in total we added more a uh, half cup more cold milk until the desired consistency and we are now ready to assemble the cake and another challenge for my daughter Zeynep she's going to cut the cake it was a little bit hard moment because I didn't want her to ruin the cake but I know that you would also understand but she was okay with the help of me First we cut the top part to make it even. It wasn't very even at the first hand so we had to work on that a little bit and cut it in half again. It was okay I think for the first time she made and I'm sure you will give coverage to her by uh, supporting with your comments and likes. So now we're gonna damp our cake with some milk but we wanted to mix it with the rose geranium leaves that we take out from the sugar and pound it gently 
using the pestle and drizzle over the cake to damp it. Since we have only two layers of cake, we are going to use the cream generously and spread it over. By the way, don't forget to transfer the cake to the serving plate as we did before you begin to assemble. I want to mention that you can use this recipe and flavor it with other uh, fruits or different flowers you can try. This was a nice experiment for us to try the rose geranium leaves and it was a nice touch and I hope you can find and taste it too. To decorate our cake we used these meringue cookies which we made it earlier so it is not store bought either. So what do you think my friends how it looks after my daughter's Zeynep final touches. She was so excited to slice and try the cake but of course we first had to record it for you. Uh, you can see some of the conversations how excited she was to try in the end of the video. Thanks for watching. If you try please share your photos with me from my Instagram account. You can tag me uh, from Turkish food recipes. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in another delicious Turkish food recipes and vlogs. Afiyet olsun. Niye gelmiyor ya? <gülüyor> Dur. Bekle, bekle. Çekimle bakacağım. Tamam. Ha. Nereye tutayım? Aa, kuş. Tamam, e, ya yine ortala sen ama. Ya tamam tamam fark etmez. He böyle güzel değil mi? Hı hı. Olmadı ya. Oldu. <gülüyor> Kuş burada atlamaya geldi. <gülüyor> kuş kapansın sen Yiyor, ortala işte yine. Kuş. Ortala boş ver. Nasıl ortalayacaksın? Evet, ittireceksin yani bu kadar. Hı hı. İştireyim. Onu Bence yapayım. üzerine bırak daha iyi. Üstüne bırak daha güzel. Ama göreyim Aa, öte yandan. Güzel oldu bu. Tamam. Evet güzel. Evet. Ben yiyeceğim. Bekle önce. çekmedik. <gülüyor>